Magical Musical Storybooks is lots of stories, lots of imagination. It is an interactive storytelling adventure with a live jazz band. Magic Box is a wonderful, imaginative, uh, immersive storytelling experience for kids. Hello, my name is Lottie. This is my Magic Box, if you can just about see it. What is inside my Magic Box today? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. But hopefully there is something exciting in there that we can turn into a story. Now, can you please put your hands up? Who likes stories? Oh. This particular episode is all about a captain of the pirates, and he's lost his crew, and the kids to be his crew. So the children, they start the show maybe like in theatre positions, like all very stay. By the end, well even in the first 10 minutes, they are down. They are on the floor, they are shaking things, they are lifting flags, they are blowing raspberries, they're having a wonderful time. So put your eye patch on. That's it, put it over your face. No, really, put it on. Shout yo. So we wanted to put something on that had a lot of improv, a lot of like child response, and they can direct the action. How? Throw water at him? Possibly. How else? Shoot cannonballs. Yeah, the last crew stole the lot. I haven't got any cannonballs. What are we going to do? I think the interaction drives the show because you feed off the kids' energy. You feed off their answers, their, their ideas, and you can weave them into the show so it's never the same. There are certain points you have to hit that I drive it towards and the band need to then play the songs, but um, the kids' energy and their answers can make it all a little bit different each time we do it. I can see the rainbow tree! Let's make some mischief! Cause we get it. They're very, very spontaneous and they sort of, you can feed off them quite a lot. You never know where you're going to really end up. Pirates, I think we're ready to go. Let's get sailing on the beautiful blue sea. The thing about pirates is they are yartastic. They are very exciting. They can go anywhere they want. They can build their own ships. It's far enough away for it to be kind of like slight naughty, but not actually that threatening. And the absolute freedom, because they've got constantly mum and dad saying like, do this, eat your peas, blow your nose. And so to have a character that embodies the whole wipe your bum on your mat and blow a raspberry and shake your bum in the air. And the children just got right into it. I like pirates because when you're acting on or when you keep on, then it just feels like you're really, really special and it feels like you're going to have more fun than anybody else in the world. I'm a pirate. Yes, I am. I think the wonderful thing about this show is that the band is on stage at all times. I think for some kids, they don't necessarily see live music at all. Um, a lot of kids' theatre shows are done to a backing track, and the fact that we've got the band on stage and they're integral sort of part of the musical box, we are the musical part of the magical box, really. And all the way over this way! We very much wanted it to be a full jazz ensemble. And even though that might be a luxury, actually it's a, like a gift to the children for them to see, well this is what a double bass looks like, this is what it sounds like. We give time for solos, we give time for the children to really engage with each instrument because you don't know, like in 10 years time, that might be the one they choose. I think the storm has woken the sea monster! Let's look over the side of the ship! One of the reasons I bring a whole arsenal of plumbing with me on these is to get the bass clarinet out for a sea monster and it is kind of this huge otherworldly contraption so the fact that it produces those noises is kind of fun and same with saxophones, clarinets, recorders and things like that. It's really important for us to have all the instruments on the show and to introduce young people to those instruments and the sounds that they make.
think we've got a few lines in there for the parents and guardians as well and they should be able to have a good time and of course it's really essential that they do because some kids need a bit of encouragement to get involved and then if the adults are up for it and having a good time as well and we try and obviously keep them involved and keep them entertained then I think it just it makes for a whole a, the whole experience a bit more cohesive and, and all, all the kids can be confident and really get stuck in and have a good time. You've helped me find the treasure who wants to share it? All right we're just gonna throw some on the ground come and get some treasure down here there's enough in there that is adult oriented and then you can talk about it with your child and, and really engage with like, well, I like this bit, I didn't like this bit and the music is challenging enough for it to be of beauty to a more kind of like um, experienced ear but it's straightforward enough and like on the floor shaking bumps and stuff for the kids to really dig it and I think it kind of brings together parent and child to have an artistic experience that they both can connect with. Shout yo ho ho Come on! Yo ho ho! The Magical Musical Story Box is a wonderful thing to bring your kids to because it's both fun, it's educational, it's visual, it's musical, it's interactive. It might introduce young people to music, hopefully inspire them to, to try their hand at some music themselves and ultimately I think everyone can just have a really nice afternoon. Number one. Your kids will love it. Number two, parents will love it. Number three, you are giving them a window into something they might really connect to. Number four, chocolate coins and bum shaking. Yeah.